Hello, everyone, and welcome back to New Pantheon Academia. My name is Stephen Pope. I'll be your host, your principal, and the reason you can't stop playing Dead by Daylight. Just got to get one more game in, all right? Just one more, and then you can finally get that upgrade you need. Uh, you always know, call it a subliminal. subliminal. I, I, I don't have a problem. I don't have a problem. You might notice we are missing someone tonight. Uh, Omega's feeling a little under the weather. Send them lots of love, please. But we do have an amazing game for you tonight because it is our beach special. Ba -ba 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 I mean, I can actually do that with one oh, of these please. ones. I don't remember which one it is. How do you is not it... know? This one. No. <laughs> then that makes it. This one. There, there, there we go. go. Back at, like, <laughs> the fail of that was so... <sighs> Even the sound was perfect. I Just... feel I, I feel so attacked right now. I came out to have a good time. So, uh, before I get into my usual rigmarole, let's go ahead and meet our wonderful table, starting with uh, the winner of American Idol. They just don't know it yet. R.I.P. Mika. I was not prepared. Am I Susan Boyle? Can I be uh, Susan Boyle? I mean, I don't think she was on American Idol, but sure. She was on the British one. Yeah, she was on Britain. X Factor. Yeah, yeah, that one. Uh, hi, I'm Mika. I'm not prepared to introduce myself today. Um, I play, uh, oh God, Dahlia Wingrove. I remember her now. Uh, I'm excited for this speech episode! Yay! Brew, 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 brew. Oh, now you can find the button. Now, yeah. you can find the now button that I know where it is, yeah. there's a lot of buttons here. <laughs> Funny that. Funny that's how that works. Yeah. <laughs> next up, they're America's next drag superstar. It's mostly Eric. Hello, everyone. Uh, I, I don't know that I... I just honestly don't think I have the commitment to be a drag superstar. I think I could, I, I could dabble, but I think I, I just wouldn't give it. I wouldn't give it the attention it needed. Uh, and I today am playing uh, Lennox Thatcher, uh, who's who's former football guy, and now he just I don't he's figuring stuff out, man. I don't know. He's he's finding himself. <laughs> and next, uh, the winner of this cycle of America's Next. Top model, Shadari Aki. Yo, what up, fam? It's me, Aki, your boy, playing Emancipation Brown, otherwise known as Manny. Uh, and apparently trying to come to terms with the fact that they might have leadership potential, uh, despite having never sought a, a role in leadership. Um, yeah, that's that's my that's my sweet kid. No, we do love Manny. So. Uh, this is the anime-inspired role-playing game show here on Saving Throw Show, powered by Overarms by Rookie Jet Studio Games. Send them lots of love. Get a copy on Drive Through RPG today. I would do my usual rigmarole where I hold hold up my copy, but I just finished reorganizing my office and I can't find anything. Uh, but hey, doesn't that go? <laughs> I'm so mad about it. I'm so <laughs> mad about it because I was like, oh my god, my office is so clean and so nice. Where is anything? Yeah, that's why I've Where been are my, my pens? room once in my life. Ugh. Don't do it. Don't fall for it. All right, Marie Kondo is lying to you. Hey. What? Yeah, whoa, whoa, don't. Yeah, don't. Listen, don't bring Marie into I still fold my you. clothes the way that Marie Kondo showed me. Oh, my God, you my do? Clothes. You do, too? Yeah. The shirt thing is life-changing. Yeah. You can fit so many in a drawer. <laughs> so many! <laughs> oh, God! So, uh, we're aiming... For $150 an episode or 50 new subs, hitting this allows, uh, allows well, it allows the show to happen. It pays for lights. It pays for food. It pays for these beautiful faces. Look at them. Look at them. And hey, Omega's sick this week. He, need, he, needs, the, he needs the day quill. Get him the day quill. Your and if you tip $15, you will get a lovely message read by the North Point Academy uh Secretary, I guess we'll call Who her. Who I believe is going to be getting herself a uh, divinity. I mm -hmm. believe that we earned up to that point. That yeah. happened. That yeah. did happen. I don't know what to do with that, but that happened. It did. Ugh, I gotta figure that one out still. But hey, 
Uh, if we make you laugh, make you cry, or if you just like our faces, drop a tip. It's super appreciated. And uh, and I want to call her Ethel, but I don't believe that's what her name is. It's been a while. Gladys? Gladys. Gladys. Thank you. Why did I think Ethel? Ethel? I don't know. But she's definitely Gladys. Yes. Uh, Gladys will read a message from you, and it's great. Uh, and hey, we want to send some love to our sponsor, Hero Forge. Uh, you'll notice below me on if you're watching this on stream that there are some beautiful 3D renders of our characters. That was made by Hero Forge's great character modeler. You can make your own and then have it 3D printed. It's awesome. I can't hype it up enough. Um, we also want to send some love to Die Hard Dice. If you use Saving Throw 22 at checkout, you'll get 10% off. And if you are live in the chat, you can use exclamation point DHD for links and info. And if you are also in the chat right now, exclamation point Hero Forge will also give you information on getting your own miniature. So check that out. But hey, if you're not with us live, if you've decided to catch us on YouTube or listen to us the podcast, thank you. We love you. You're can't thank you enough. All right. Super appreciate it. If you can't be here live and you're doing this later, still lots of love. Uh, but hey, we are all slaves to a mysterious algorithm that none of us fully understand. And the way we know how to beat it is to like, comment, and subscribe and ring the bell. So if you could do those things, super appreciate it. Thank you. All right. So last time we were all together a month ago in real life, but merely a day in universe. The three of you, well, the four of you, but I'll just say the four of you for simplicity's sake. The four of you had uh, gone into the depths of the dreaming where you found your Morpheus. Uh, you also found Loki. Only one person was really excited about finding Loki, but hey, they Manny was happy about it. Um, My friend. And only your friend. I worked hard for that relationship. You did. Uh, you had a fight with another divinity user, Kyle. Kyle was working for Ari Black. Uh, sorry, Ari Scratch. Our principal in this universe who created this little dream world for you all that's just a little too nice it's not real and it doesn't feel real and it doesn't feel good um kyle was working for him and lenny was able to figure out that the reason he was working for him was part toxic masculinity part he was being manipulated Regardless, you had your. <laughs> regardless, you had an epic battle with him, and you were able to destroy him. Or, yeah, and we showed him the air of his ways, and he's now joined us as friends, right? No, he's lost somewhere in the dreaming. Oh, cool, cool, cool. Yeah, cool. That definitely was a thing that happened. Cool. Yes. Cool. We killed a child. Great. Great. He's not uh, dead. He's not dead. He's just, just, you know, been obliterated from reality. Yeah. That's all. He hasn't. God, you guys are His dark. consciousness fell into raw dream space, never to be returned. Yeah, cool, cool, cool. It as could long come as it's back. Died. You could come back. All right. All right. Like, this is a Disney death. Okay. Still sad. But we're talking when like. When I see it, I'll believe it when we see it. Well, you know. Listen, what? you know, death can, death can have meaning and weight in this, in this world. It's okay. Yeah, it's Regardless. cool that we're all murderers now. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm glad. It's I love chill. that for you. I love that for you. <laughs> Regardless, after your fight with Kyle, uh, the four of you decided to maybe reconsider this plan of diving through the dreaming into your real universe. And that's where we left off. And that was yesterday. How did y'all sleep? By the way, full hit points, full AP. I mean, you tell us, fam. How did we sleep? I don't think Lenny did. Just because he didn't want to enter the dream. Or he got super hammered first so he wouldn't dream. 
healthy. <laughs> oh yeah, we we super make healthy choices around here. Talia <laughs> cried herself to sleep. Oh God. Um, gosh, I want to say that Manny. Manny made attempts to sleep, and I think that they were able to, like, at least do some shallow sleeping, but, like, maybe every hour, every 45 minutes, they would sort of, like, wake up in, a, like, a cold sweat and then, like, try to go back to sleep. And I think at some point they kind of call out Ma'at and, like, ask Ma'at to tell them, like, a bedtime story or something, like, just to help them kind of, like, chill the F out. Ma'at probably says no. Um, but like, yeah, I think it's it's fitful sleep. I'm going to say at breakfast next morning. Actually, before I get to the next scene, Lenny. Yes. Did you go home to, home to sleep? Or where did you sleep? Oh, that's a good question. Um, I don't know where Lenny would go. Can he crash in Manny's room? <laughs> Always yeah. welcome. Then he would have crashed in Manny's room. Because he doesn't want to go home. And he doesn't yeah. have his own place. No. No, you do not. All right. As you all come to... Well, not all of you. Dolly actually got to sleep. Though you are definitely going to be waking up with those bags under your eyes. Like those... Oh, yeah. you've been going through it, bags. Um, let me get a... Uh, Strength roll from Lenny and Manny. I'm looking for a four. Y'all should have just cried yourself to sleep. Would have been easier. You just cried yourself to sleep. <laughs> Five. Hold on just a second. I'm a little all over the place right now. We're going to strength is. All right. Eight. I crit. So you do not. Neither of you have any. Uh, you are tired. I'm going to say you're tired, but it's that but type you know, of tired you can cover with a Red Bull and maybe a coffee around three o'clock. And uh, also, we're teenagers, you know, like. Yeah, Lenny's used to waking up at four a.m. to work out. So, like. <laughs> well, now that he's so out of shape and everything, I don't know. Yeah, he's really let himself go. Yeah. As the three of you head to the North Point Cap North Point Academy cafeteria. Uh, Nanako looks up from her uh, pancakes, puts down her fork, and motions for the three of you to have a seat. What's up, Sorry. Sorry. Yeah. Manny's tray is just full to the brim with like chocolate chip pancakes and like <laughs> turkey bacon and like fruit and like the biggest glass of orange juice they could get away with getting and chocolate milk. Oh, of course. And they just start going to town. <laughs> um, Lenny's got an old kind bar. It's probably like it's a little it's it's not past the state, but it's probably like not great to eat. <laughs> Dolly has a glass of orange juice. Manny is fully eating their feelings right now. <laughs> I can tell. <laughs> um how'd y'all sleep? Silly question, I know. You think Kyle's gonna be okay? Um like, you want, like, um, do you want me to, like, comfort you or give you the truth? Oh, God. Yeah, I think he's going to be fine. I know that you're lying. That's, uh, you don't need superpowers for that one, Manny. Um, okay, um, we all had a terrible terrible experience um she stands up i am making a decision on behalf of the school safety squad that's that was the name of the club right dahlia yeah. cool, cool yeah but it doesn't exist here 
It does now. I've decided. Okay. Decided what exactly? I don't think we can decide if Kwame's not here, honestly. We have to have. We have yeah, to we have need a quorum. I mean, isn't this a quorum? It's the majority of the members of the squad. Yeah. And technically, he was never actually an official member. Yeah, he's uh, always denied it. So I know we all believe him to be a member, but Kwame has never been willing to admit that he is. So. Mm-hmm. I'm going to propose we play, uh, what's, the, what's the word? Hooky. What? Yes. I propose we play um, hooky. Yes. I mean, I've never missed a day of school in my life, but Me neither. this isn't my life, so I guess it doesn't really matter. I mean, where would we play hooky to? I mean, Kyle's going to miss every day of school for the rest of his life. But what does it matter if we miss one? I think at this point, Morpheus kind of pops out of your uh, backpack. Okay, I second the motion for Hoki. I think that we should make sure that Kwame goes too. I think he's going to need some Hoki time as well. I'll text him and let him know to meet us in the car. Okay. Well, my family does have a house on the beach here. I propose we call up uh, Mrs. Miss Winters and we all go together. We're gonna have the teacher play hooky with us. If awesome. I if I understand what happened yesterday, and I'm still par- parsing a lot of information, um, she is not technically a teacher that's true no technically she's not she's the same age as us technically technically well no she's not even oh it's it's complicated well if she didn't die what she didn't die so she's older than us but like yeah where she did die she was the same but she still had those years Okay, no more D word, all right? No more D. No one's allowed to have D at this table anymore. Uh, <laughs> <coughs> What's so funny? Nothing. What no. are we not allowed to have? No, don't make her repeat it. We're yeah, good. I didn't catch that the first time. No, as the one person <laughs> here who might be getting it, stop. Okay, you guys are making fun of me, and I don't know why. It's not your fault. They're being silly. Mm-hmm. If you really want me to, if you really want, I can explain it to you on the ride over. Okay. But it's an English thing. Oh, okay. A silly English joke. Oh, okay. Uh, well, yes. Uh, my Uncle Nobro should be there. Uh, he's nice. You'll get to meet him. Cool. Sounds good. I like to meet new people. Yes, but I feel like uh, considering uh, everything that has happened in the past 36 hours or so involving a broken car and everything else. Oh boy, it has been a lot. Uh, I I believe as a member of the school safety squad of this place, even though it never existed till yesterday, uh, we should do this. That's my that's my stance. Yes. And she stands up kind of tall, like she's trying to have some authority. Okay. Yeah, I mean, I don't I, I I'm like fresh out of ideas or whatever. So yeah, okay. All the time Manny is texting Kwame. Kwame says he's cool with it too. Great. Good. Good. Dahlia? Hmm? I guess that I will skip school today because this is a relief in life, you know? Mm Mm-hmm. I do. You know, honestly, Um, I understand that. It is 
a life. It is not the life we chose. And this is the one choice we get to make. So let's fucking do it. Are well, we going to be allowed to... Where are we going to go? I... Um, I thought campus stopped at one point, right? It stopped in, in like the direction we went, but it's like... I don't really understand it. I don't think it's like... So this place is like not real. So like, I don't think we can like ascribe geography to it. Please stop implying I'm not real. No, you you're real. You're the reality you're in. Uh, you currently occupy is a fiction, but in a lot of ways, all reality is a fiction. So like, you know. All right, we're getting a little too philosophical here. Let's just get in the car and drive in the direction of the beach and hope for the best. And to Clear something up, SGM. The town of North Point is in the bubble, so anything in the town is still fair to go to. You just can't leave the city limits, effectively. Right. And apparently there's a beach within the city limits, so let's go. You are you are in Oregon. Yeah. All right. I am actually pretty curious into what Dahlia's bathing suit style is like. Because, like, you kind of give me, like pinup vibes like dahlia seems like she would be super into like the vintage looking bathing suits that are like kind of pinup vibe oh she'd be so cute in those yeah she would 100 wears the red one piece like marilyn monroe inspired yeah i think that manny is probably the type of person who buys their bathing suits from um oh what's that one bathing suit vendor called that's called that does like the really cool like gender neutral um, I don't know. Suits that look like the classic ones that they like wore in the 20s and 30s. I was imagining them and kind of like one of those. No. Uh... That's what Manny's got happening. <laughs> Nika's looking it up right now. And Lenny? <laughs> uh, Lenny, L Lenny looks like the, the surferiest surfer you've ever seen surfer. <laughs> yeah, the long to your knees board shorts. Yeah. That is that, that is like very fitting. Cling to the to the V in your hips, kind yeah. of like just. You're not sure, but for some reason his hair is now always wet at the beach and seems <laughs> long longer. But you're not sure how that happened. <laughs> very tousled and has a little bit of like the beach wave going through it. Yeah, it's already got sand in it, and you you you're not even at the beach yet. <laughs> Impossibly uh, gorgeous. Um, Nanako's imagine... is frilly and cute. I think it's a one piece. Has a cute little skirt around the. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> that, that fits her so well. Um, yeah, no, you guys are going to love my Uncle Nobro. He's very sweet. Smash cut to inside the, you guess, Nanako, uh, you guess the Majima Beach House. Um, first of all, Lenny, this makes your house look tiny our main house or our beach house your beach house okay yeah well that i mean we don't security really patrolling the outside oh, men with a... scars yeah. and like tattoos and eye patches just wandering around grimacing at everyone looking so mean and then you're greeted by a man wearing leather pants missing an eye missing several fingers uh, this is Uncle Noboro, and Nanako just jumps into his arms, so excited to see him, and they are talking a mile a minute. It is the oh scariest God, you man he's ever seen. What you, I... scary? That is not the word I'd use. Scary or hot? Little, little column A, little column B. Not scary at all, just very, very hot. I forgot, this is the uncle. This is the uncle. This is the one. Huh? The one, the one, what? The one that we think is part of the mob. Oh, right, right. Yeah, I don't think that, 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 um, that Nanako knows in this reality that her family is part of the Yakuza. Like, I don't think she knows in any reality. Yeah, no, I, I feel like she knew in, in our original one. Oh, yeah. this uh, she absolutely it. did not. She didn't? No. no. She doesn't know in she any has of them, no right? No idea. 
Yeah. It screams Yakuza. Oh, like, definitely, what? definitely. What? Huh? Uh, Nobro says, looking over to you. Oh, nothing, nothing. It's really nice to meet you, uh, Nobro san. I said this screams Yahooza! We're gonna have such a fun time at the beach. He's staring at you. Mika, give me a uh, charisma roll. I'm looking for a four. Okay. Oh, goodness. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> you got a one. <laughs> Amazing. Yeah. Oh, wonderful. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah, it's like it's like an Oregon thing we say uh, in Oregon or whatever. Hmm. It's like how some people say Eureka. Uh, do you say do any of you speak Japanese? Uh, I mean, or, or your in real life? <laughs> uh, I don't think only out of character do I <laughs> speak Japanese, and you know this. I know. My character speaks French, but not. Um, not unfortunately Japanese. Uh, Uncle Nobro walks over to you, Dahlia. Kind of looms over you. You can hear the nega thing, like despair music. And then he pulls you into a hug. He just like, oh, and I just get inducted. You are uh you are all welcome to give me an intelligence or charisma roll, whichever is better for you. Ooh. Oh so, yeah, charisma. Four. Five. All right. I was looking for a four. Um you don't speak Japanese, but you can tell when someone has found something they think is adorable. Oh, everybody knows the word for kawaii. Okay. Yes. No, Mika, uh Dahlia is being I'm going to go ahead and give subtitles for a character on an audio medium without subtitles. Uh, he is quite literally saying, oh my God, you're almost as cute as my niece. Oh my Lord. Oh, yeah, who's that? That is a terrible word. I love English. It's so terrible. Oh, you're so cute. Just want to take you home. Nanako kind of gets gets between you and her uncle. Kind of. Put... No, no, no. Weird. Don't do that. No. Oh, sorry. Sorry, Dahlia. Oh. Are you okay? You look a little pale. I'm just thinking of where my first tattoo's gonna go, <laughs> I guess. Are, are you getting a tattoo? I think I have to. Oh. <laughs> I think Mika might be, uh, not Mika, sorry, I think Dahlia might be in love. <laughs> it's at this, uh, Kim kind of leans over. I think she's more scared she's been uh, inducted than... Uh... Might be both. I can see it. She'd make a good mob wife. What? But she would. You would. Yeah, I could see her with like, you know... A glass of wine and like a house coat, like yelling at the cops that they don't have the right. Is that all a mom wife does? Well, you also turn a blind eye to horrible things. And you have to be a really good actor to do it. Mm -hmm. Or a politician's wife, honestly. Ooh. Only a mob wife sounds more fun. Mob wife. And they're usually the ones that are really in charge. Yeah. Yeah. Why are you guys talking about the mob, Nanako asks? Um, no reason in particular. But don't you think that Dahlia would make a very interesting mob wife? Oh, I don't know. I don't know the first thing about the mafia or anything. Yeah. I've never even seen Godfather. <laughs> yeah, I don't know anything about the mafia, too. Uh, it's at this point you see uh, Uncle Nobaro go into a back room where there's just a row of men and there's one guy sitting at the very end looking horrified and he you see Nobro pull out a sword and then the door closes it's so so this family so does does the uncle like have a presence in this town regularly you know i really didn't think about this before we started this session i'm going to say uh you know what i actually wrote myself a perfect out here uh 
this universe is a react. It's a reactive universe because Ari doesn't want you guys to want to leave. Okay. So your normal life, you're pretty sure no mob has ever been involved in North Point. Cause, yeah, because now we have a Yakuza problem. If if the Yakuza were there, Lenny would know. Like his dad would be friends with them. <laughs> oh, absolutely. <laughs> absolutely the only so. yeah lenny's like he's he's they're they're the fam like they're that kind of rich that they were the mob and then they went straight in the 20s you know went straight air quotes love it yes kim <laughs> does not stop staring at the closed door and she puts up a finger i'm waiting to hear the scream there's gonna be a scream someone's losing a finger in there oh god would it be would i get in trouble if i opened it you think why would they use a sword for a finger? Ooh. Probably. Yeah, they'd use one of the smaller an ones. Arm. It's probably an arm. <gasps> an arm. And you know what? I need to know about the. We should open the door. I need to know about these. We things. should I'm gonna be a mob wife. I need to. No, no. If you're gonna be a mob wife, you need to turn a blind eye to all of these. Every time you have a question, but... you need to push that down. Is that what? Maybe I thought. May... Maybe you wouldn't be a good mob wife. Too curious. I thought it was. I thought it was like knowing what's going on no and turning a blind eye but it's, it's like understanding what's going on but not knowing that's not you open know, the door. Yeah. you know it's you know what's going on but you don't have to see it you don't have to hear about it plausible Nothing deniability is all the way behind that door <laughs> you guys are yeah, really cool. weird it's just a business <laughs> meeting god you guys are so you guys are watching too many movies. it is you're right it is a business meeting I know English is my second language, but you sound like you're making fun of me again. We should go to the beach and let um, your uncle conduct his business meeting. It's at this point, you all notice Morpheus is already out the door. He's dragging a chair with one paw. He's got an umbrella dragging on the other. It is an uphill battle, but God, he is trying. <laughs> your rabbit is ridiculous. Um, very cute. Ridiculous. <laughs> Very cute, but ridiculous. Let's go help him before he strains something. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The three of you, uh, joined by Kim and Nanako, are greeted with one of the most beautiful beaches in the Pacific Northwest. It is somehow almost tropical. It is clean sand, beautiful waves. It smells perfect. Everything... The sun is out, but there's plenty of clouds, so it's not burning. This but is the perfect slathered, beach day. Slathered in sun, sun block anyway. Just slathered. Underneath an umbrella and covered in a towel and a large, large white brimmed hat is Loki. <gasps> Loki! I hate this. Hi, Loki! I didn't know you were coming. Of course I was going to come. I was not going to not come. Why are we here again? To let off some steam. Because mm -hmm. it was not the best day yesterday. To play hooky. We're playing hooky. While a totally normal business meeting happens just beyond our sight. As Nanako turns around to put down a cooler, they carry out uh, some ill-formed thing underneath a, on a gurney with a blanket on top of it. What? She does not see it. What? Um, it's just refreshments being wheeled out. Yeah, it's after. the catering. Yeah, it's the catering. Lenny knows. Um... Uh, I don't suppose that they, we brought any snacks stuff oh. down. Oh. And Lenny, Lenny, since we're playing hooky and we're already kind of doing things that, like, we probably shouldn't be doing, do you want to, like, may I, <clears throat> may I have a beer, please? Oh, yeah, totally. Kim gives you the most judgy eyebrows that this white-haired woman has ever given anyone in her life. Uh, Just this one time, I think it's okay. Does anyone want anything else? And you see Lenny, uh, like, sort of his eyes, like, shift 
and then he pulls out a a, a carp like a like a picnic blanket and rolls it out and it's just f- he's clearly using his power it's just filled with like dates and 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 olives and all kinds of, and and like honey cakes and stuff and 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 like ceramic jars full of of different alcohol and stuff like that he's sure. like yeah so I, I brought a couple of things <gasps> Never mind on the beer. I'll take one of these cute little things. And they pick up one of the jars and like open it up. And they're like, smell like it. Ooh, pretty. Nanako uh, puts the watermelon she was going to show off back in the cooler. Just. No, you bring that thing back out. We oh. put on a blindfold and we smash the shit out of that thing later. I was hoping to do that. Yeah, that sounded fun, but I, I can't. My Lenny, this is impressive. Oh, it's okay. It's magic. Still impressive. Uh, Loki comes over. Loki, have you ever seen someone at the beach who like has three towels on them and the hat and not just the sunblock, but like the white stuff on top of the sunblock? The zinc sunblock, yeah. The zinc sun sunblock. Even even though his horns are sticking out of the hat. impressive i like this i like this very much thank you may i have one? Oh yeah take take whatever you want it's like there's plenty do you have mead um and lenny just starts like like pulling corks from things sniffing one of these might be that one <laughs> do i say please now or do was i supposed to say please before um you know what you said it now, and we'll just call it even. Okay. And so the thank you comes after the request. Yeah. Or right now. You just did it. You just thank did you. both. Awesome. Okay. Good. Awesome. See? I'm learning. You're doing a great job, Loki. I don't need you. Don't patronize me. I'm not. I'm giving you a genuine compliment. You're doing a great job. I know you're giving me a genuine compliment. I'm just insecure. I'm also trying to be We can honest. work on that. He slams that. Uh, who else is drinking? I got myself a cute, fruity little cocktail in a jar. I got myself a glass of wine. <laughs> Getting ready for your uh, new career path, huh? <laughs> Listen, you guys put the idea in her head. It's said so she'd good. be good at it. And now she's like, yep, this is my life. <laughs> I'm not going to be good at it. I'm going to be the best. <laughs> They'll make a movie about me one day. All right. Uh, give me a strength roll. I'm looking for a five. All of us? If you're drinking. Ah. <laughs> oh. Uh, so I got a, a D12. A five? I got a D12. Uh, five, five, yes. So that's like, what are the odds okay. that I roll under a, a five? <laughs> this nice. is impressive. One, three, three. Wow. Um, <laughs> I had a D4. There was no way I was going to make that. A no. D12, and I only got one. A D8, and I got a three. <laughs> okay, Lenny. Lenny, I think Lenny, like, he goes, overmixed her drinks a little bit. I think, I think with Lenny, it's less about like getting too too drunk. He's like, he's like, yeah, let's have a little fun. And you see him just, just fully down a thing. Like without stop, like way more than like he just drinks a whole thing right there in front of everybody. Me at eighteen, learning to drink proper. Yes, that is exactly what's happening. Uh, Manny, Manny, we just want to take a quick moment though for our audience to say that we do not endorse under do drinking. <laughs> not at all. Not at all. <laughs> we just hope that we want you. If you're gonna do it anyway, you should do it at home. Where Responsibly you with, with your us. parents. And don't yeah. drive. All right. That's the only thing yeah. I care about. Like, don't, don't drive. drive. All right. If you kid, if you if you and your friends want to come over here, just smoke a cigarette, drink a beer, you know, as long as you're safe. You're doing it here. <laughs> Honestly, I want to be that parent who's just like, I'd much rather you be here where I can look after you than going off and doing some wild shit somewhere else. <laughs> all right. So you are all drunk because you all failed. It's amazing. Mm-hmm. Uh mm-hmm. Now, I have to ask, is this because you drink too much or you drink uh, not too much, but just way too fast, like Lenny? Because Lenny think, is shit-faced right now. I think, Yeah, I think Lenny 
is not trying to have fun. He's trying to get hammered right now because he's tr trying to hold it together. <laughs> oh, wait. That's not I work will out. say that Manny is drunk because they are under hydrating. How about Dahlia? Not because they're drinking too fast, but because they're not having enough water. Uh, Dahlia doesn't really like the taste of wine, but she's pretending to sip it. never going down she's just okay um <laughs> she's I'm getting old... drunk off the fumes <laughs> i am i'm in my 30s i am jewish i'm on anth i've been on antidepressants most of my life i've been all three of these characters at some point of my life <laughs> <laughs> me too uh, and i'm much older than you <laughs> so as you all fall into a lovely inebriated state. Um, Nanako, also a little tipsy, because why not? Brings out the baseball bat and the watermelon. Hell yeah, let's do this. We're doing it. Okay, okay. Uh, do, do you, sorry, do you, do you guys do this here in uh, America? No, what are we going to do? Okay, okay. This is so much fun. All right. All right. Uh, I need a blindfold. Um, hey, take my shirt. <laughs> oh, thanks. Okay. Uh, she takes a shirt and... Oh, Letty, since it's your shirt, you can go first. Uh, oh, cool. She stands on top of the cooler and uh, she blindfolds you and then hands you a baseball bat. Don't you... Now, now what am I doing with... It? Okay, so now we're going to spin you around three times. Mm hmm All right. And, and then what, hap dizzy? What, ha what happens after this? Can I, can we, can you explain the, ga oh, the game? Oh, what? Huh? You explain? Explain the game, please. Explain. Oh, he's doing with the bat. Oh, okay. All right. So I'm going to put a watermelon down and then you're going to, while blindfolded, try to break the watermelon with the bat. And Are we supposed to eat it after? Yeah. Yeah. Off the sand. Well, I'm going to put a towel down. And I got to find it? Hey, yeah. How far away was it going to be? Um, 10 paces. Oh, that's, that's really far. That's really. I'm going to fall in the what water. If he steps on it. Okay. All right. Hold on. Hold on. Nanako grabs the blanket and drags it towards you. All right. Five paces. Five paces. Okay. Yeah. Five paces makes sense. Okay. All right. And then she scurries back behind the cooler towards you, Lenny, and just shoves you forward. All right. Are Lenny... you supposed to? Aren't you supposed to spin him? I forgot to spin him. You said I you already had to spin, spin it. He's already spun. He's spun. He's spun. I'm spun. All right. Okay. Lenny, I need a dexterity roll. I need you to make this twice, and we're going to take the lower of the two. Okay. What? Six. That's pretty good. And a two. <laughs> That's significantly worse. All right. <laughs> Lenny, you are wildly off course. Um, why don't you go ahead and give me an intelligence roll twice? We'll take the lower of the two. Three. All right. Now already not looking great. And one. <laughs> Lenny, go go left. Go left, Lenny. Lenny, left. My left or your left? Right. He does not right now. Um, I don't think he's gonna get any closer to that watermelon. No, no he's not. He's not. As Lenny, uh, you go directly into the water. Sploosh. Mm -hmm. I think uh, I yeah. missed. I think you missed too. You should take the blindfold off now and come back. Okay, yeah. What? Whose turn is it now? Um, Manny's turn. Because you're My tall. My turn. Yeah. Okay, fine. Uh, here so we go. So you get a wet blindfold put over your eyes. It is a horrible <laughs> sensation. Uh, you are spun around. Now go ahead and give me a dexterity roll twice. Okay. This is a three on the first one. Okay. Oh, man. I got a crit and then half that. <laughs> Boom. And I'm guessing intelligence check next? Uh, yes. 
<laughs> I don't need to roll again. Immediately one. That's, <laughs> that's all. That's all I have I'll to do. <laughs> okay. Um, you don't go into the water. You instead trip over Loki. Uh, <laughs> uh, right on top of him. His towel and his hat go flying. Uh, he has a... And now you all see why he was wearing so many layers. It is... that it It's the signal for Gondor being lit. It is staring directly into the sun. It is white. the he's most as, white. He's as pale as me in real life? He is paler than you, I don't Eric. believe you. I don't oh my god. You. I it don't is. Believe you. You could use him as. Don't do it. You could use him as a bounce board. He is so. Pale. This isn't a T-shirt. That's just skin. <laughs> <laughs> That's so gross. That's so gross. Love it. It's not actually. It's an actual T-shirt. Yeah. He's bullshitting. I know, but it's, just... it's funny. <laughs> yes. Um. Uh, Nanako shrieks. Uh, Kim, who is really in no position to judge, laughs raucously. Uh, Lenny, me, Dahlia, Manny, how do you respond to seeing the most pale boy on the planet? Uh, wow. Do we have sunscreen? <sighs> I need all the sunscreen. I need the sunscreen. Yeah, I got. I got. Thank some. you, please. I got some, and he hands it. It's it's that sunscreen that just like it's it's basically bronzer. It just helps you get more to hit. It's like it's oil. Yeah, it's just oil. <laughs> he immediately unscrews the top and just pours it on himself directly. And oh no, that's not gonna be good. Beep, beep, beep. He is now the most red thing. <laughs> He's gone from the most white to the most red thing. He is a tomato. He is a he fresh to instantaneously. Monster. He is it is instantaneous, this sunburn. Oh no, put the blankets back on him. And Loki screams bloody murder. This is why I hate the beach. This is why I hate the beach. My we could have put the towels the back on you. We could put a we could put the hat back on no, you. Can I the towel? Can towel. I uh, call upon Persephone? <laughs> We can we can fix this. Persephone I want Persephone appears. to grow. I, I would like to ask her to grow some like tropical foliage that can <laughs> and some aloe. The sun. I yeah, can. Yeah, I'm a, sure. I'm gonna use <laughs> I'm gonna use an AP to heal Loki <laughs> of his sunburn. All right, I'm gonna need dexterity rolls from all of you because he is literally running away, screaming in pain. Eight. Hi. Oh damn. I got five. Uh, I just, I like Lenny, Lenny just tackles him. <laughs> oh, that has to hurt. Oh, but then we heals him. We pull back. We pull back. We pull away from the beach. Pull away from the Majima compound. Pull away from North Point, Oregon, into this bubble universe, and we keep going. And we go. And we go. And we hear the scream of this. <laughs> Poor burnt man being tackled into the sand, getting a lovely exfoliating treatment on skin. That's not uh, doing well. Uh, but then I heal him. <laughs> there can be no light without the darkness. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking A, Mika. <laughs> Now, no longer burnt, but very upset. Uh, Loki has proceeded to make himself a blanket igloo on the beach. We've, Complete we've with a sign saying, grown, go away. We've grown foliage for them. They're <laughs> an aloe. There's like those And I chucked a, I chucked a hundred SPF uh, sunblock into that, that, that little cut lake area. Not bronzer, but sunblock. Uh, you toss the bottle into his little uh, blanket, foliage, aloe, igloo, and it just comes right back out. I am not using anything you humans give me again. I'm your friend and you can trust me. And I chuck it back in there with him. 
Give me a charisma roll. Cool. Let me let me see how that goes. For Looking me. for a four. Uh, that was a two. Nope. 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 Friendship or not, etiquette and manners or not, I am I, Loki. Am never putting human goop on my skin again. Okay. All right. I'm never doing Fine. that again. Uh. Let's just keep trying to bust open this watermelon. But can we do it out of the blindfolds, please, Nanako? Can we? Nanako has it? fallen asleep uh, throughout all this chaos because she cannot hold her liquor. Aww. Manny yeah. just goes up with the uh, with the um, bat and just kind of cap on the watermelon. <laughs> and it's one of those like literally, it looks like they don't even touch it, and the watermelon just splits open. <laughs> because split if it's open. like a proper. It's a proper, you know, properly ripe watermelon. It will just. No, I I like the idea that it splits open like one of those orange chocolates that you slam on the table. Like just perfect perfect wedges. wedges. All right, everybody, dig in. Awesome. Kim grabs one and plops down next to the igloo under the umbrella. Uh, Uh, I don't know. Hold up. Kim digs through Nanako's purse, pulls out some salt. I knew she'd bring this and uh, tosses it to you, Adalia. I'm just going to douse my watermelon in salt and eat it. Uh, well, this is nice. But uh, I oh. still feel like trash. How about you guys? Well, I was starting to not feel like trash until you brought it up again. Kim gives you a shrug. Listen, I'm the adult here right now, even if I don't want to be. Sorry. Sorry, that was I couldn't help I I, I couldn't help it when you said that. As I, there I'm sorry if that undercut that moment. She punches you in the arm, but it is you're very wet and sandy and glistening right now. So and it also doesn't he's like contact. he and he's, your buff. He yeah, he's He's pure muscle, no body fat. Yeah. It's like that baseball that like bounced off of that dude's ass. Yeah. <laughs> exactly like that. No, no. Uh, Kim's fist is the baseball and Lenny, your arm is the ass. Um, look, I get it. Not a coat. Loki somewhere in there. I'm never coming out again. We get it wouldn't get it. Nanako isn't in our position. I do. So, like, I'm the adult. Talk. About what? We have no idea what's going to happen to Kyle. We don't have any idea if we're ever going to see him again. For all we know, we just did one of the worst possible things that we could have done to another person. He was trying to kill us. Yeah. I'm not saying we shouldn't feel bad. I feel like shit. But, like, you guys didn't do anything. I mean, a lot of things have tried to kill us. We've all always sort of just put that away because they were, like, monsters or whatever. But we've never potentially ended the life of another one of the the wielders of these keys. I don't know. Maybe it's different for me because Kyle kind of killed me once. I can understand why you'd have different feelings about it than we do. And I understand why it... I'm not going to pretend like this shouldn't hurt. That wouldn't be fair to you. What's weird is that we go back to our reality and he's dead anyway. He's not, though. Kyle's almost 30 in our reality. He's this age. And last I heard, he's working in Seattle. I mean, I can only speak for myself. I don't really know how how Dahlia and Lenny feel. I just know that 
not one of our finer moments as a team, even if it was, wasn't on purpose. I don't think any of us were looking to. None of us could have known that was going to happen. But that doesn't really stop you from wondering whether or not there wasn't more you could do to stop it. I don't like losing. Um, you know, we you know, when we took we took a big L on that one. Like we we won, but like we did what we were like trying to do. So I guess there's that. But like I don't know. I don't there's we could have done better probably. Um but there's a lot of stuff that like I try and remember we didn't cause this. We didn't choose this. And like, um, the person who did, um, is getting everything they want when we feel bad for these things. Um, and it doesn't, it doesn't do nobody any good if we're like sad about it or whatever. Um, but like, you know, it still sucks. Ari is, a lot of what's going on is because Ari decided to meddle. I mean, bingo. Yeah. Like. But that doesn't completely lift flame off of us. We, we. What could have we done differently? I don't know. I was in, I was kind of unconscious for the last little bit. Um, so maybe if I were, you know, conscious, I could have done something, but like, I don't know. Okay. Like I, you, we can, we can talk about what we could do, but that doesn't solve. I mean, if I, I know it doesn't met, solve anything, I know it's, this is a circle you're going to like find yourself in. Like you're going to spend the next 10 years going, well, if I hadn't asked my brother for a ride, my dad wouldn't hate me. But that's, that's, I did ask my brother for a ride and he died and, and my dad hated me, but I didn't control any of that and I can't fix that. And you didn't deserve that. Maybe, but that's, I mean, deserve doesn't have anything to do with it. I know it fucking does. And I'm just saying. I think it just comes down to the fact that we're just not going to feel great for a while. Whether we could have done something or whether we couldn't have done something, the situation ended badly. And now we have to live with that reality, regardless of which reality we live in. It's not like we're going to forget that it happened when we go back to where we were supposed to be. Yeah. And it's not like it's going to make it so that it didn't happen. It did. I know that we keep kind of joking that this isn't real, but to the people who are part of this reality, it is. And that has its own layer of meaning, even if we don't ascribe the same layer of meaning to it. Yeah. I mean, if, we, if we're going to keep doing this and keep saving the world, you know, there's a cost. And, you know, we've never really, I think this is the first time we've ever had to like every time we've come across something someone's been like oh you can't do that or oh it won't work out and then it does so this is just the first time it didn't really work the way we wanted but that's it's gonna happen again maybe not for a while but eventually we're gonna like something's not gonna work out because we can't control everything yeah not wrong i think at least today though i think at least today if we're going to take a break we should actually take a break we can feel bad but that doesn't have to be the focus of today you're right you're let's, right let's all become mob wives today We'll turn a blind eye. 
but then tomorrow we won't be mob wives. Mm, we'll face and the situation. And instead of turning a blind eye, we'll remember that an eye for an eye makes the whole world blind. Kim gives you a smile, Dahlia, and then puts a hand on your head. I was wondering why you were being so quiet. The writer in me had to really nail that one. Did good. I liked it. Thank you. <sighs> now, who's going to refill my wine? I'm not sure. How oh, I can you... handle it. Maybe we the should thing... switch you with a cool to a cooler wine spritzer. The things I've seen, doll. I need another. Oh boy, I think we've created it. I think we've created a monster, Lenny. What do you say we do some beach volleyball? Oh. Thanks, Loki. <gasps> Okay. Okay. Here's the SPF 100. Thank you. Uh, you just hear that. At first, you don't hear much, and then a couple seconds later, you start hearing that scorching noise that comes from when a bottle is past empty, but you're trying to get that last little drop out. He used the whole bottle on himself. Oh, boy. Uh, chat says I can't hear you, Steven. What? I think it, oh, it, got, it got borked. That might be on me. <laughs> oh, they you're back, you're back. Yeah. Bye. Sorry. Yeah. No, nope, that was that was a me thing. Ah. But thanks so, for letting us know, chat. Thank you. Chat. Uh yes. So you hear the scorching noise of an empty bottle, and then the bottle's just kind of tossed aside out of the egg clue, and then slowly, like a nervous cat leaving their uh Carrier for the first time, Loki. You see Loki in his bathing suit. It is cute. He is adorable. It is freckled, pale, ginger, and angular. Welcome, 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 welcome. Want a slice of watermelon? I will. Yes, you're welcome. No, thank you. That's that's what you use when someone hands you something. Yes, thank you. You're right, welcome. What teams are we going to be on? Well, let's see. There's me, you, 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 and a rabbit. Nanako's asleep, but we can wake her up. I think it just it cuts to like Lenny fully like buff standing there. It's like, I don't know. I'm not very I like. I'm I'm only good at certain sports, and like clearly he's. Honestly, I feel like Lenny should be on his own team, and then we should all be on all the team. rest of us on the other team. You might be right. I, yes, I believe so as well. All of us versus you, Lenny. Yeah, okay. And maybe Morpheus can be on your team with you too, just so you have a little bit of support. Oh, yeah, because, yeah. Uh, Morpheus wearing sunglasses scurries up your pant leg and then onto your shoulder, Lenny. And he lowers his sunglasses a little bit. Y'all are going down. Oh boy. Oh boy. I I maybe this was a mistake. Okay, let's go. All right. So here's how we're going to do this. <laughs> uh, Lenny will serve, and I need Lenny to give me a strength check. This is going to set the DC. Bam. Six. All right. Now, Mika and Manny. Dahlia and Manny, since you're both on the same team, I want a strength roll from both of you. See if you can actually meet a six. I can't. Oh, is it we're adding it together? Um, no, because it's uh, returning a volley. Nope. One. All right. Now I'm going to have uh, Loki make a roll. Oh. That's a, a nat. That's an eight. That's an eight on a D8. So... Yeah. Manny, Dahlia, it, you're screwed. The ball, you're, I, it's going to... And then 
leaning backwards like he's going under a limbo stick, almost completely perpendicular to the sand. Boom! Loki hits the ball back. Uh, Lenny, give me dexterity or strength to return. To return. Uh, you know what? We're gonna go. We're gonna keep it strength. Three. Oof. All right. I'm going to say you make it because you're an athlete. I think it's only fair that you are able to return it. But uh, all right. Uh, uh, Manny, Dahlia, strength or dexterity? You need to beat a three. Ooh, I got a natural eight. I'm going to try Dex. Oh. Boy, she's pretty. Dahlia, <laughs> you go ass over tea kettle away from the net. Um, Manny, though, boom, you managed to get it back. Uh, Lenny, I need you to roll strength or, strength or uh, dexterity. We're looking for an eight. And you can six. Choose. Uh, but now I'm going to roll to see if, uh, Morpheus can get it. He does not. Uh, you see a purple whirlwind up here around the rabbit. He goes up, he tries to reach it, and it bonks him in the face. Oh, and he baby. goes down flat. Uh, so yes, point. Everyone else. Yeah, yeah, like going around <laughs> doing the high fives. I'm going to check on my teammate, make sure he's okay. I got a face full of sand and yeah. a heart full of anger. Hey, walk it off. Yeah. Walk, walk it, it off. off. There's Rub some dirt in it. It's game time. Yeah. Okay? Rub some dirt in it. There's no messing around in game time. Yeah. Oh, come down here real quick. Yeah, yeah. Slaps. <clears throat> oh. You got slapped by a bunny. It does not do any damage. All right. Now you slap me. No, I'm 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 actually actively not gonna do that. Weenie. All right. Let's get to it. Okay, so who's going to serve on team everyone? I feel like we should give Dahlia a chance. I can do this. I believe in you. I've got this. You All right. do. Loki, Loki's gonna lean over. And cheating is viable. Just say it. You know that I'm not that type of person, Loki. Yes, but I, I am. Yes, I know. But my aunt would be ashamed of me if I were to engage in <laughs> such behavior. Persephone, for what it's worth, will not care. She wouldn't. <laughs> I'm going to cheat. <laughs> <laughs> All right. You got to tell me how you're going to cheat, though. Love it. Fucking love uh, it. I would like to use Persephone's um, magic over springtime mm -hmm. to make sure that the ball has a nice little wind beneath it <laughs> to get it over the net at the very least. <laughs> okay, spend an AP point. This is going to be strength and uh, let's make a power. Okay, all right. <laughs> <laughs> Six. That's really bad. All right, Lenny. Hey. Uh, huh? Strength Terrible. or dexterity? We're looking for a six. Strength. Nine. Nice. The most pleasant breeze uh, wafts up your nose. It's delicious, it's refreshing, and you just bonk. <laughs> All right. Dahlia and Manny, we're looking for a nine. I mean, I can't possibly get that. My strength's only an eight. What about so. your dexterity? Can I help? My dexterity is only a six. So, well, well, there's, I mean, that is literally the best I can get. Could I, could I help? Uh, how are you going to help? Without telling them, I'm going to just, so to say, pull the wool over Lenny's eyes by using... Uh, Persephone's underworld powers of unbrokenesis and just like make him just see darkness while the ball's coming for him. <laughs> okay, all right, all right. Uh, so Lenny, I'm going to ask you to roll me your defense Absolute and your chaos. intelligence. Okay, first defense intelligence. 
Seven. All right, Dahlia, uh, you <laughs> need to beat a seven, and this is going to be uh, intelligence uh, power. Okay. Hey, baby. Oh, God. Lenny, um, <laughs> it's suddenly really dark. Yeah. Um, <laughs> however, that does not help the fact that uh, Manny did not hit the ball. I'm There's gonna... no way I could have. I know, even I know. with the max, I mean, even with the maximum die, you're not going to at least have let me like return it. I did crit. You did crit. You did crit. So well, what I'm going to do with your crit is I'm going to roll for Loki plus one. I'm giving him plus one on this roll. So that's what roll one d ten plus. Let, God damn it, let Loki. me down. Here, here is what I would like to do. <laughs> okay, what are let, you doing? Let me down. After they, after Manny misses, I didn't miss. I just like. I'm gonna oh, quickly yeah. run over and grab the ball, and run up to the net with both hands and throw it right over the net next to Lenny, and then get rid of his darkness at the same time. So it looks like Manny hit it. But he didn't yeah. reach it in time. And then I'm going to look at Morpheus and I'm going to go, shh. <laughs> I'm going to let you do that. Lenny, your vision comes back just in time to see a ball plop right at the edge of the net. And I don't get um, a, a chance to even, like... <laughs> It, die like, for it. Yeah. He'll he'll fully commit. <laughs> to I will the let dive. you die for it, but I'm looking for a 10. 11. How oh, did you fucking shit. do that? He his eyes, his eyes go, <laughs> and then he literally just does like a almost like a, f a like a, a, a front flip to like side flip, just go and like slam like completely like like if he weren't 17, he would have destroyed. Like he would have hurt something, but because he's young, he's like he's he'll, he's fine. Made out of made out of Teflon. I God damn this. it! Well, you know I'm gonna try. Sports anime but... bullshit. All yeah, right, no, there's right. no way. Hold up, hold up. Uh, I could, right? One sec. <laughs> uh, all right, so you got the ball. It does. It, it did not fall. However, I'm going to have Morphe. You spiked it. Morpheus is going to return. So we're going to roll for Morpheus real quick. That is a D8 plus a D6. Plus one D six. Uh, that is a six. So he returns the ball, and Morpheus looks personal. Like this is personal now, Dahlia. Like you were going to cheat him, your bunny boy, the man you just saved. Oh, he made you a Vita, which is culturally insensitive. But don't worry about it. Um, so yes, now you may, uh, return. I already rolled it, uh, before, uh, before, um, he did, and I only got a five. So. All right, Dahlia. Strength or dex? Strength or dex. You need to be the six. <laughs> it's not personal for Dahlia. <laughs> Can I, for the first time ever, use my Loki screech? <laughs> Your banshee screech? To scream it over the net again. <laughs> Absolutely. Absolutely. Give me a give me a charisma roll plus three. Things have become fully unhinged, Chad. I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> charisma plus three. Okay. Yep. Let me see if I remember how to do this. Ten. <gasps> <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. Um Meek Dahlia screams the ball over. Lenny, I don't think you've actually seen them use this power before, have you? No. So that's new. I've never used it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but that doesn't mean Lenny's not gonna spike it back. Five. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> he like I imagine he like goes to hit it and just gets blown back. You do. Oh, no. You do, oh, and you hit the sand, and then the volleyball bonks your face. Actually, you know what? It bonks your chest, just to mm -hmm. keep a tradition going. You get a volleyball to the chest, and then it flops. And that is two for everyone, zero for Lenny slash Morpheus. 
Except y'all are y'all are making it difficult for us. Not like you're making it easy. <laughs> We're actually being very challenged here. That eleven on that dive to get that ball back, though. <laughs> that was so stupid. <laughs> so good. All right, Morpheus. Like, listen, they're not they're not going to stop cheating. So we got to dig deep. You know, we got to keep going. We got to we got to like reach in. I mean, I'm not mm -hmm. giving in. Are you giving in? No, no. Okay. He cocks a sniper rifle. Okay, I don't think that's regulation, but no, no, okay. <laughs> <laughs> he puts yeah. it away. Yeah. Was he um... about to murder him? <laughs> don't worry about it. <laughs> don't worry about it. It's fine. Everything's fine. Yeah, I didn't see personal. here. It's oh not personal. God. It's a game. It's not personal. It's not personal. It's very personal. All right. <laughs> What's the plan? Um, I don't know. Just make him freaking eat the ball. Not that's that it. choice of words. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, I do want to say that on the ride down, uh, Manny did explain the whole D joke thing to Nanako. <laughs> oh, Nanako had never been, Nanako, at least this Nanako, seems to have been dealing with their social anxiety issues and a lot of their issues. But when you explained that, they, they were red. They were not talking. They were meeping at one point. They turned into Nanako Bot 9000. It was a lot. I, I think that Manny spent a lot of that time trying to assure her that it was funny and she didn't be embarrassed and it's okay. It did not take. But that didn't mean, doesn't stop them from trying. Yes. All right. So, Lenny, it's your turn. Who is going to serve? You or Morpheus? All right, Morpheus. I right. believe in you. Okay. All right. Morpheus takes the ball, goes to the back of the line, closes his eyes, opens them, begins hovering about three feet off the ground. Uh, you see a spiraling vortex around them. Everything's glowing a little purple. Uh, you might hear tongues. I'm not positive on that one. And they are going to serve. A Twelve. Holy shit! Okay. And Dahlia, it is going directly towards you. Great. So I need you to roll first. Yep. Uh, strength or dex? Strength or dex, and cheating is viable. Cheating is viable. Cheating is viable. <laughs> the stupidest idea do it do it i want to I, I i'm embracing the stupid we are embracing the stupid the ridiculous i'd like, I'd like to call him brigid's animal possession power okay <laughs> ask any seagull around to come join our team <laughs> and make sure the give ball me range charisma Oh, oh my gosh. I thought that you were going to ask the seagulls to poop on the other team. Not a four. <laughs> Not a four. And we the don't ball have now has seagulls today. five. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I am going to actually say um, you are suddenly inundated with seagulls all over the place. <laughs> like they are coming. You don't know where they're coming from, but they are all over the place. Um, so now right. everyone is going to food. take is going to take a negative four to their rolls. <laughs> My oh, no. is a D4. That's incredible. <laughs> oh no. Lenny's oh. about to like annihilate so many. <laughs> oh people. yeah. All right. Is it who's rolling? So uh Manny, go ahead and make a roll to see if you can actually get the ball. Oh, Don't forget yeah. to take minus four on it. Right. Uh-huh. Four. That's a four. Um, I rolled the highest I could have rolled. You go for the ball, and it looks like oh, you, this this could work. This could work, and then suddenly, Mika, paint me a word picture. What happens here with your seagull accident? Oh, I imagine that as Manny is trying to serve this ball, they look at it and they think it's like a plate of food. <laughs> So Mine? they just swarm Manny. <laughs> no! Poor Manny. Get him off Mine. me! Get him off me! No! Wait, no! No, keep the ball aloft! Oh no! That ball 
is of Dahlia, no one's what did concern you do? right now. I just wanted our team to be bigger. <laughs> That's what you get for cheating. <laughs> it's recruitment. It's not cheating. Well, the score is now 2-1, okay? We're still winning. Yeah. Yeah, and now there's birds everywhere. Shoot, shoot. Ugh, no. They're eating all of your food, Lenny. I mean, I'll, I'll just, I'll, I'll make more. Head in the game, Lenny. Okay, yeah, 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 sorry. Head in the game. Head in the game. All right, uh, so... Manny and uh, Manny and Dahlia, it's your serve. I'll do the serve this time. <laughs> it's still a minus four. Oh, Dahlia, do you think you can get rid of these birds? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'll get rid of them. I'm so mine, sorry. Mine, mine. Can I get send them away, please. <laughs> ah. Fine. I get rid of the stupid birds. I need you to spend an AP point and roll me charisma range. Charisma range. Of course I would fucking roll that now. Sure. Uh, 14. Almost instantly. <laughs> just poof, no more pigeons. Not pigeons. No more seagulls. They all just fly mm. off. They're gone. It's like they were never here. If it wasn't for all the bird poop and the discarded food leavings you never know all right watch me still roll real crappy on this this sir yes let's yes go. let's go so that's a one your... i'll see how how well i can handle that uh i rolled a 12 <laughs> <laughs> so in case you guys don't know what it is i just roll i roll a one which is impressive. It really is. Um, so I'm going to say this happens. Uh, Eric, mm. I want you to describe the most OP sports thing you think could happen in this situation because that is what you are going to get because uh, Manny rolled a 1 and you rolled a 12. <laughs> There's think... no way I can't not like reward this. I think like as the birds dissipate, Manny's like, finally, I can take a shot. And then, like, as it, like, crests, like, it's just about to cross the line. And that's when you just see the most, like, 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 red-faced, like, angered version of Lenny just, oh, slant. And it just, like, 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 just, like, like, tr comet trail on fire hits the, the ground. There's smoke. There is no way to return that one. It goes into the stratosphere. It's a little star in the sky. Yeah, technically that's out. <laughs> it did bounce once in the actual zone where it, so it's not. Oh. <laughs> So I, I guess think that's the end. I think that's the end of the game. Nice. Cool. Yeah. Uh, it was a fun game. Yeah. No, no, really, really fun. Really fun. Really, really fun. Yeah, competition's uh, great. Yeah, no, it brings out it brings out the best in people. It really does. We're never playing with him again, Dahlia. Okay. We're not doing that again. All right. I am so sorry. I'm so sorry. I don't congrats on your win, Lenny. Oh no, it was a we all won. It was I understand why you do sports now. Yeah. Isn't it it's just fun to like get to hang with people, right? Uh-huh. Yeah. <laughs> just a chill time. So chill. <sighs> Who wants ice cream? <laughs> Me. We have ice cream. <laughs> we can get some. I'm sure there's probably some inside the house. That actually is a good idea. We should go back inside and hydrate. Yeah. That's not a bad idea at all. Uh, so you head back into the mansion, for lack of a better term, and somehow the outside looks shockingly like the Thatcher estate because I could not find another good image. 
it's fine. Um, actually, he kind of fits uh, the Majima family more. So, you enter the house. It is about, you guess, maybe eight bedroom, ten bath, uh, at least two kitchens. Uh, no pool, shockingly, but there is a koi pond. And there is a mysterious garden that uh, no one goes into. Don't ask. Well, you shouldn't have said that. I mean, in Lenny's house, we found a ghost. Mm -hmm. And in your house, you have a mysterious garden secret that nobody goes in. Um, I find think... secret oh, hot but tub. we all know to turn a blind eye, so it's okay. You guys keep saying that. Why do you keep saying that? We're mob uh -huh. lives today. Matt, what's in the garden? <laughs> I could tell you, but I do not think you would appreciate it. You're going to keep the truth from me? Oh, it must be really serious. You don't have to tell me if you don't want to. Some things matter is just not meant to know. And even though you are not a man, you still probably shouldn't know. Okay. Oh, my aunt told me something real spooky, y'all. Nanako, still a little confused, but understanding that we're playing mob wife today. Um, okay. Well, I don't think my house, I don't think the beach house is haunted. I do hear screams sometimes. Do you have, like, a grill or a barbecue? Let's make, like, cheeseburgers or something. Well, of course people would be screaming of fun on the beach. Yeah. That's what, that's what my mom said. Said? Yeah. Maybe let's do some french fries and, like, some pickles. <laughs> let's, let's do a barbecue. I can't tell if this is Manny, like... No, I don't want Nanako to know that her family is horrible <laughs> or Manny being like, I'm not dealing with this. A little both. Yeah, but por que no los dos. <laughs> so, yes. Uh, thankfully, there is a kitchen with a chef. Uh, he is a large, burly man, bearded, and uh, just as intim intimidating as every other man you've met in Nanako's life. Actually, if we're going to be here in this lovely mansion with a Japanese chef, I think, and it's summer-ish time. When when is it exactly? What, what it's, month? It's uh, springish. Springish. Okay. Mm, what is a good seasonal dish that we could have? I'm I I'm pulling from OOC knowledge for this, so y'all give Please me do. a second. What would be a good spring dish? Mm. Actually, kind of coming up empty. Salad. Always really. I mean, no. Always really good dishes in summer, fall, and like specific things for winter. But spring is usually like everything in Starbucks is sakura flavored, and that's kind of it. Um, but I bet we could do like a really good udon. A good udon would be good. Some like nice udon. But actually, I just really want cheeseburger, and fries, and a pickle. Um. Uh, she translates to the chef. He gives a curt nod. And a few moments later, you are presented with some of the most beautiful burgers man has ever seen. It looks like angels themselves came down and individually placed the sesame seed seeds on the bun. Wow. Sick. This looks delicious. Mm. I'm sorry our normal chef's not in today. But I hope you guys like it. You have two chefs? Um, no, about six. Oh, okay. Yeah, that makes sense. Mm-hmm. I mean, well, because I... you don't want, because, because you don't want like the same chef in all the places because you want them, like, uh, you know, you want different things. And then, like, like, you know, they have like lives and stuff like that. So they got to take vacations too, you know. And my grandpa fires a lot of people, so... My he... dad fires a lot of people, too. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I mean, we don't even have one chef in my house, but... My mom oh. is the chef. And my oh. dad cooks, too. Oh. Kim picks up a burger and takes a bite, doesn't put anything on it. I mean, I had... 
I'm actually a pretty good cook. Really? You should cook for us when we get back to our, our other reality. Uh, I can, if you guys want me to. Maybe sure. we can all cook something for each other. Like a potluck? Yeah. Hmm. Uh, Lenny, we're putting down a ground rule now. Protein shakes do not qualify. Fair. Neither Honestly. do protein bars. Okay. Free workout shakes. Okay. Or muscle milk. None of those or things meat. qualify. Or a. Or you have to have actually turned on the stove and like make something. Okay, Even so if it's just let a your identity do it for you. Okay, so it's going to be a challenge, um, but I'm I'm up for it. I'm up for it. I bet you make something really great. I bet he's going to make steamed broccoli and a chicken breast grilled. No seasoning. I mean, oh no, that no. No, I mean. You think of that? No. Why? Are are we all training? No. He's gonna make something good. I I believe in him. So, I have a question. When we when we confront the devil, what exactly are we planning to do? Because I, if I'm remembering correctly, we have to force him to do certain things in order to sort of expel his like grip on this reality, right? Mm. Do we think we've done that enough to make him weak enough to like defeat? Maybe. And if we haven't, what are we willing to do to get him to expend that power because last time we tried to fight him it did not go as well as when we fought dr ash i guess making him like exert control like weakened him but my only thing is i don't want us to i if we i don't want us to like end this for like the people that are here. So like we just got to like get him to stop and you know, but I don't know. Hmm. Loki who has more you know those we all had that one friend who like their food couldn't touch. You've never seen someone do it with a burger before, but here we are. <sighs> Well, may I give my thoughts? Is that kosher? Sure. I don't think you guys have weakened him at all. I highly doubt it. I think you guys have been done well. I just don't feel like he's going to be in any state where fighting him would go any differently. Do you want to catch go before catch first? But what's one thing that every one of his little toys have had in common? I'm not following. So when I was working for the Phantom Queen, he motions to Kim, and then you dealt with the White King, and then you dealt with the... Uh, Seven Scarecrows. What's a common thing among those? Chess. Games. Mm. Exactly. He likes to play games. Oh. And the fiddle, allegedly. What if we, we like fully mob wife this? Like we just pretend like we don't understand it's not it's not our reality. <laughs> Without <laughs> If we're like, no, nah, this is, you did it. You sent us back. Are you saying that we just pretend we've accepted that this is real? I don't know. Maybe. What if, what if we, what 
if we uh, switch our dreams to be the other reality? And then he's like, oh, they, those weren't your real dreams. Let me get your real dreams served right up on a silver platter. And then he I think that me. might be a little bit too obvious. Maybe if we tweak one specific thing about the, the dream that we're currently in. Not Try to make this reality a little bit closer to the one that we came from. Hmm. Um, guys, I don't want to interrupt, but... You're not interrupting. You're part of this, too. Nanako clears her throat. Um, what's going to happen to me? Actually, that's an interesting question. Up until now, we've kind of been operating on the assumption that the only people who control this world and what happens in it are us. But maybe what we need to be doing is helping the people who are here maybe exert some of their own will on this place. Yeah, because he, because that's why he needed Kyle. Because he needed, like, Kyle had to be people to, like, do the things he did. Like, everyone here is people. Um, and once he was people, or, or, like, because he was people, he could affect things and, like, shape things. So I think is And he had an awareness, didn't yeah. he? Like, where who we were and where we come from and what was going on. Kyle so, knew a lot, yeah. Yeah, so I think if... If we start telling people, he doesn't. He may have started this avalanche, but it's like it's it doesn't stop if he goes away. It he doesn't he doesn't control dreaming and the power it gives people. So like I don't know, maybe the more people who can hold this together, the less they need him here. Like, maybe maybe part of this is not just us exerting our will on this place, but empowering the other people who are here to do it, too. Maybe giving them, telling them the truth about this place. Everyone in this reality that has divinity, it's not us. He gave it to them. What if, I don't know, what if... Somebody who's like, I don't know, not supposed to have it, has it. And then there's more, because as far as I can tell, our divinities are only here because he's allowing them. But if like one of them's just here, that's a lot of his powers just because he's the only one who actually can like use it. But it's not his power. Kim puts down what's left of her burger. Well, you brought up something. Look, I'm older here because I never died, but I have my I have my divinity. You guys have your divinity. Loki is Loki, same with Morpheus. They have their own thing going on. So who do we know who didn't have a divinity who does now? Well, Nanako is one of them. Monaco's the only one we've met. So far. But we haven't really had the chance to talk to other people. Only the ones the, we knew had divinities before. The 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 one that has Hades in this universe. Spiro? No. Remember? Oh, Spiro. there's somebody who wasn't supposed to have him who has him now. You're right. And Spiro's in France. We need to find who has Hades now. Do I remember who that was? I was told. You were get I you were given a name. I don't think you ever uh sought them out. I don't no. think we have yet, no, because we were going through the fields at the time. There's been a lot of that. Yeah. We and don't remember the name though, so if at some point out of character you can give it that give I'm that to us and remind that. us. Yeah. Thank you. Um, um but we oh. could start looking around. 
Yeah. Yeah. So uh, for my sake, yes, hi. Uh, what is your plan? I would like to know that so I can help with it. And he looks to Mandy like, I did good. I think we're going to start telling people what's going on and seeing if they can influence the world in a way that forces this reality to align with that idea. Oh, so you're going to have Lenny talk to his brother. We never what? have. No, yeah, nobody ever. That's not, I don't think that was ever like in the cards or, you know, so. Well, well I mean, he's we have dead to start and now he's not. So that has to be one of the biggest things to address. So maybe if you address that. Oh, we'll have to tell Kwame about, well, Kwame's mother will have to be told about what happened to her. Hmm. Yes. I think blowing open the mist, blowing, blowing the mystery out of, we just got to start taking people's, people's, uh, rose colored glasses off. Oh, maybe this is a bad idea, but you think like Dr. Wang has had a baby with a principal, but he's the devil. You think it's like, I don't know, like a, like a super baby. We haven't talked to his kid yet because his kid is pretty young. I don't know that Dr. Wang will want her involved. Yeah. I, I'll and it's remind not her fault. Yeah, I, I'll remind you all, uh, she did say she did not want her daughter involved. However, you are aware that uh, uh, Dr. Wang's child is special. Yeah, we could talk to Dr. Wang, not exactly about her child, but perhaps the ways that she could help undermine her husband. Because I think she wants to help. She tried to. She's so yeah, I think I have an, an odd idea. You know how hard we've always tried to keep this secret in our reality? Mm -hmm. I don't think we try in this one. I think we make a school-wide announcement about it. I think we get as many of the students involved as we can. And that will also help to sort of flesh out who might have divinities and not realize it. Yeah. The only way to heal this reality is to break it. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's like, yeah, I mean, he built it to like be a cage. So we got to bust that cage open. And we only do that if we tell people about it. People who don't know how to, they're in a cage, can't break free from it. And if this is going to be their reality, they should have control over what it is. Yeah. Like, why is it got to be like a copy of our reality? It could be whatever they want it to be. Galia, you're very quiet right now. It's worrying me. I just started thinking about Spiro. Um, sorry. And it's I'm... okay. Do you want to try to do something to help him? I don't know if he'd want to talk to me in this reality. No. I feel like I said some bad, th or the, one of the, the Dahlia that was here, the bad Dahlia. Well, maybe the only person who can tell him what's going on is you. And I think he'd forgive you, Nanako. He elected to not remember. That is true. That, yeah. If that's what he wanted, I don't know if I can take that away from him. That's that's fair. Maybe, maybe. Let's see how things go. Maybe the way that things shift will have their own effect on him without us realizing it. And as, as much as I wouldn't agree, 
I feel like we do need to talk to Kwame about this. Yeah, yeah, we do. We can't we can't enact this plan without his say without his input. No. I have a feeling he's really not gonna like it. No. But I think that considering his power set, I think he's gonna realize there might not be another way. Yeah. But we have to do something to challenge Ari. And I think putting him on blast might be the only way. Yeah. Kim picks up her soda and holds it aloft. To the hashtag Ari's canceled party. Oh, he's been canceled. Here, here. And with that, we have some school announcements. <gasps> bum, Yay, bum, bum. Glad, glad is here to give us some levity. Oop, wrong button. <laughs> Good evening, people on the beach or wherever we are. Uh, let me pull Good up. Gladys, get out here. Let me pull Don't worry up. about it. Yeah, whatever. Let me find where these announcements are posted somewhere. They're probably right here. Not that page. I clicked the wrong thing. Is it not that one? I don't. Oh, it's it's this. Glad this is what is this stream communication? Yeah, I got that. I got that. Welcome, welcome on in, everyone. Sorry, you know I'm on I'm on vacation time here. Uh, this first announcement here on the beach is from DJ Regular. It says, "Our friends at the North Point Aviary remind you not to leave shiny objects uh, within the sight lines of the exhibit, as our crows have developed a barter system to." Uh, to retrieve outside contraband. Uh, uh, relatedly, please check our website to see if your car is currently in our lost and found. You know, the, these birds, they get, they get, they get ideas. Uh, next one's from Five Foot Latina. It says, hey kids, hope you're having a good time at the beach. Don't forget to wear sunscreen and reapply every couple of hours. Uh, more if you've been in the water. It's just, you know, that's just to live by. Anyways, uh, that's all the announcements from the Beach PA system. Hey, you all have a wonderful rest of the episode. How come Gladys always knows where we are? I don't know. She scares me a little. Gladys have a divinity? I think Gladys might be a divinity. <gasps> that would be make a lot of sense she always seems to be around wherever we are like, like a watcher watching. and she said stuff that like other people probably shouldn't hear yeah it's kind I of think... prophetic a lot of the times yeah she's like uh, kind of incredible have any of you ever actually met her in person no no me neither kim thinks about it i work here and i've never seen her Very weird. I am on it. I am going to solve the mystery of Gladys. Well, okay, listen. We we can like uh totally um save this universe and our own or whatever, but like don't buy it off more than you can chew. You're you're asking for a lot there, Manny. Yeah. I'm I'm gonna do it. That's gonna be my senior project next year. I'm going to I'm going to solve the mystery of Gladys. Loki just pats you on the shoulder. Good luck. I support this. Yeah. I'm supposed to say that, right? Yeah. Good. You're doing Good. great, Loki. Thank you. Thank you. I'm trying trying this whole thing. The three of you and your friends, God, human, or otherwise, have a lovely time playing mob wife for the rest of the day. There's food, there's fun, there's plenty of, there's some other attempts at sports that don't go well. Never play Lenny at air hockey, you will lose. But you have a night of just being normal kids. 
you don't have the weight of the world on your shoulders, at least for a minute. And that is where we are going to call this episode of New Pantheon Academia. <sighs> Beach episode. Fear, fear, fear. Ah, wow. Hold on, I gotta, I gotta find the button again. <laughs> so, my name is Stephen Pope. I've been your game master, your vice principal, everything today. Uh, thank you for tuning in. Uh, listen, if you once again, if you're listening to this as a podcast or you're watching this on YouTube, comment, subscribe, like, ring the bell, leave the hearts. We really do appreciate it. It really does help the channel grow. And hey, if you like us a lot, join the Exploration Society on Ko-fi. Uh, and hey, join our Discord. The Discord's free. It's fun. You get to talk to everyone. It's great. Um, and there is an episode, there is a thread just about this episode. So check that out. Um, now, I could be mistaken, but oh, wait, no, nope, that is not happening. That is not related to us. Don't worry about uh, the Avatar RPG. You were mistaken. I was mistaken. I usually am. But hey, uh, I believe this Tuesday at 6 p.m. we are going to be uh, seeing the RPG Exploration Society to have some fun. So check that out here on Saving Throw Show. And if you like my mug, if you like me for any reason, one, thank you. Two, uh, check me out on TikTok at The Professional Hobbit. Uh, and listen, I'm almost done with my setup. I might start streaming soon. So fingers what? crossed on that. I know, I know. I've only been doing the... I've only been doing this for eight years. You think eventually I'd just stream on my own. Uh, but hey, thank you. Uh, now I'm going to throw it over to Aki. Where can they find you and what do you have to plug? Sure. Hi, everybody. I'm Aki. You can find me on Twitter at Mixed Genie in a Bottle. That's M X G I N I I N A. A-B-O-T-T-L-E. It's been a while since I've had to do that. Um, you can catch me in a few places right now, obviously here uh, for uh, New Pantheon Academia. On Mondays, you can catch me over at Scabby Rooster at 8 p.m. for Total Party Kills. Um, that's finally back, and we're doing like a fun like uh, six-episode um, run with some new monsters. Um, it's a lot of fun. Um, the last few episodes of the Mage the Ascension game I'm in, Bonds Beyond Time, with the Cookout TTRPG are airing on YouTube on Mondays as well. Um, you can also catch me over uh, at Ladies of D&D &D, uh, in uh, partnership with one, uh, another company uh, playing a um, Nightbane game from Palladium called Last Train uh, last train out. Uh, that's happening every Friday for the next few weeks. It's a it's a three shot. We have a game last Friday. We'll have a game this Friday, this upcoming Friday, and then again on the twentieth. And that starts at uh, six o'clock p.m. Um, you can also catch me um, in a, spe a special Lancer one shot happening on Friday the thirteenth, and a special charity the uh, charity um, monster of the week. Uh, um, thing on May 7th. And then on May 14th, I will be taking part in the String Punks fundraiser over on Q Times. Um, so lots of like little, little things sort of sprinkled in. Besides that, you're not too busy. Oh God. I have so many <laughs> character sheets to build and I'm drowning. <laughs> Love it. Oh. But like, it's one thing to build character sheets for things you're going to be doing for a long period of time and another to be piled up with, with character sheets for things you're only going to play like for a few episodes. I certainly don't make character sheets for fun, so I don't, don't worry about it. Uh, Eric, where can they find you? Ooh, they can always uh, find me on uh, mostly Eric on all the things all over the internet. Uh, and at, immediately after this, uh, I will be on... Uh, Twitch.tv slash BNB Tabletop, uh, which for the Board and Barrel is a board game show I do with my buddies. And we're playing uh, Wingspan tonight with Amy Vorpal. So it should what? be a lot of fun. Ooh, say tonight. hi to Amy. I will. Tonight She's saving it's 30 Love her. PM Pacific Standard Time. Great. And last but certainly not least, uh, Mika, where can they find you? Hi, hi. You can find me anywhere at RAP Mika on any social media platform um and every monday over on fear hq's twitch channel um we're in like the last half of Colox, so we're getting to the nitty-gritty now it is gritty is a good word for it yeah yeah oh, gritty and sad and so dramatic sad. 
Um, but yeah, that's where you. I don't can think find my heart it. can take it. Yeah, <laughs> try being on the show. <laughs> so, uh, thank you all for tuning in. Uh, thanks to our sponsors, Hero Forge and uh, Die Hard Dice. Um, and hey, we'll see you next week. Until then, bye. Sayonara. Mata next time.